All right, we're continuing our Bible reading in the Gospel of Luke. Today, I want you to take notice of John the Baptist. We read about John the Baptist in Luke chapter 1, and now we see John the Baptist again. In verse number 3, it says, in verse number 2, we see John the Baptist. The word of God came to John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came into all the district around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. What Luke is going to do in verse number four and verse number five, he's going to quote from Isaiah chapter four. And this is a reminder, Isaiah chapter four, uh, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 40, verses three and four. John the Baptist had been prophesied by the prophets of old. We know that uh, Isaiah prophesied about him. We know that uh, Malachi would also prophesy about him. We talked a little bit about that in Luke chapter one. We see here that John the Baptist, he went about baptizing individuals. Uh, he was not uh, part of the Baptist church, obviously, but uh, the fact that he's referred to as John the Baptist helps us to see what he was doing, that he went out baptizing individuals. And his baptism was from God. He would baptize. Uh, it was a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Now, eventually, the baptism of John would no longer be in effect, would no longer have any authority. Uh, we see beginning in Acts chapter 2 that individuals now needed to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. But do take note that his baptism was from God, a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And so as we think about John's baptism, it did play a role. He, were, he was the forerunner for Christ. Uh, he would prepare the way for the Messiah. And so it's good for us to take note of some things that we see here pertaining to John the Baptist. Take care and God bless.